We gotta hustle and bustle, you guys. It's all going to shit. Everything's, we're all gonna die. Dead bodies and whatnot. Oh, it is filling with water very quickly. Oh, no. Oh, I don't work very well under pressure. Oh, gosh. Oh, lordy. Oh, this is convenient. Look at that. Come on, water. Continue to raise. I need to use you to get out. Sweet freedom. Sweet freedom! Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Are you... Are, really? <laughs> really, Bernie Elf? I can't Elf? believe it's over. 25 years in exile and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Sounds like it will be a simple task. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. I take it you've never taken the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. What I'll be facing? Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. God damn it. Okay, fine. I have to do everything. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre. I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. Gee, thanks for this giant fucking bow. I really, really appreciate your gift. It makes me just feel so nice. Okay. No, oh, look at this, a giant pile of dead bodies and whatnot. Yes. That's that's always a uh, that's always a good sign. You know what? I'm gonna tell you right now, Mr. Argonian. That armor doing 100% nothing. That is slutty armor. You're wearing slutty armor. Is it just me, or is this one of the most useless configurations for a pipe that I've ever seen? Is it just to bring the water up here to, to make it nice and cool? Look at that. You know, I love running around in the middle of a forest in the middle of the night. Where am I going? Who knows? Am I going the right direction? Maybe. Vaguely. Good enough. Oh, look, something steamy over there. Oh, it's... No, no that's not steamy. That's a fire. Oh no. Oh no. How so very sad. How so very sad and inconsequential to my journey. Why is the giant dildo hanging out up there? I'm gonna go check out the check out the dildo. Oh, that's not a dildo, it's a flashlight. Yay! I'm not feeling like reading right now, though. We gotta go do this shit. Nocturnal! Look, Nocturnal's got a waterfall! Look at that! And I'm climbing poorly. Oh no, this is uh, okay. Good, good stuff. Ooh, spooky. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, okay, this is a little bit... Fourth wall, 
whatnot, but this is totally the guy that plays every elf from Oblivion. And I missed his voice. It was so good. <laughs> I mean, I'd ask the same question of you. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest of them? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. That's sad. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Oh my god, are you Gallus? I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? To be honest, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It, that was just the option that I was given. Um, but, oh, but I have the skeleton key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frame? Well, I shot, I shot a lot of fireballs at him, and now he's at the bottom of a lake. Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Okay. I did this to honor the guild. You've done the guild a great deal. And although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle, me. Carlyle? She's still alive? Oh yeah. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm a but zombie I'm ghost. It's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. Oh. Well, how can a zombie ghost die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Evermare, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer oh. stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone, I guess. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Evermare and replacing the key. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Good luck, Nightingale. Thank you. Thank you, every elf from Oblivion. I'll forever miss you. Oh, my best friend. It's a big, long, twisty hole that looks a lot like a rectum and an anus. Or, I mean, a nose at the end. Oh, hello! Hello! I sense a presence. Yes, hello! Oh, God! No, 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 Don't, don't! Stop it! Oh god, there's more of you. Stop it, stop being the way you're being. Oh, oh god. Okay. Okay. That's spooky. What is this? Look at this, it's got a it's got a it's got a bird on it. Bird's a little bit twisted. Okay. What? What is that noise? Oh god, I'm burning. I seem to be activating every trap. It's not my fault, I can't see shit. It's really dark in here.
Okay, well I'm just gonna just gonna take this out and be like It's all good. Ow Oh, I see. It's the light. The light burns me. I understand. Why would the light burn me? Oh, look at that! Breasticles. Hello, bandit. Yes, I will take your lockpick. You got you got some kind of skin condition going on there. It's a little bit weird. Okay. Nocturnal, I'm here. There's soul gems and gold and dead dead people. You gotta give me some guidance here. Well, that was really hidden. There you go! Gave you a present. It's dark in here now. No one can see your, like, weird, diseased skin. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Whew. Why is this happening to me? What did I do? What did I do to deserve such rancor? Hello? Hello? There's some woods and stuff growing in your in your in your ruin. Oh, this doesn't look smart. I don't I don't want to go down there. Eh, fuck it, why not? <gasps> I don't think that was the right decision. Oh, hello, Anders. How are you? I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles just end up here. After I memorized Nistrum's clues, he collected from a lifeless I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hopefully someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. I have food for you. Here you go, Anders. Oh no, I ate all my food. Well, you can have, you can have this danger heart. Those are pretty, those are pretty good. Oh fuck! Ah! Oh God! My mom, what do we have here? Hello. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Yep. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. 
I bid you to drink deeply from the Evanmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. Okay. Bye. That was nice, I guess. Now I'm supposed to drink from the Ebon. I want to have a sip. Oh, hello. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Uh, when did you? When Nocturnal did? seemed quite pleased with your efforts. When did you show up? Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Uh, you just said that. She sounded pretty indifferent to me. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Oh, well that's, that's a wonderful, wonderful mother we have there then. So what's this about being an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Okay. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Okay, so what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Huh. I see. Yes, fellow nightingale. No, oh, that's not the one I wanted. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Gallus! I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, We'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. No! I'll miss you! Oh no, you're just gonna stand there. Okay. And it ends with a stargate. Ooh, a spooky stargate. Ooh. Hmm, how do I feel about this? I don't feel anything about this. I am a giant and therefore am slightly stupid.